What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield of VGC 2022 Showdown Live. So it was quite a while ago, back in February, like at the beginning of February, a subscriber of mine named, Le uh, I can't speak, named Yidawit in the Discord actually sent me a Mandibuzz team after continuously saying, Marcus, you gotta use Mandibuzz, you gotta use Mandibuzz, and I am not a Mandibuzz hater. I just kept forgetting to use it. So today we're finally getting around to that. I, you know, I was looking for a team to actually record with and I said, oh, hey, I never got around to that Mandibuzz team. So we're going to try it out. I haven't changed a single thing, uh, but I will give my thoughts on the team before we start. If you guys enjoy this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content along with a new series I'm calling competitive Pokemon lore where I drop some like old VGC knowledge that's kind of niche. Uh, and they're usually short videos. Shout out to Freeze Eye. I made a video before I even heard of the dude um, about like Hulk Hogan being a commentator for a VGC tournament, and I called it competitive Pokemon lore. Uh, but after seeing Freeze Eye's videos do really good, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna make more of these things because apparently uh, YouTube really loves them. So yeah, shout out to him. Uh, be sure to check out his channel. Like he makes phenomenal content for Smogon players. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Also, answer my comment question of the day. What do you think is the best Calyrex Shadow set? Are you a Focus Sash user? Are you a Life Orb user? Do you like Will-O-Wisp? Let me know. Now let's get into it. So the team obviously has a Mandibuzz. Uh, the Mandibuzz is pretty bulky. I'm assuming this thing can take a uh, Behemoth Blade from Zacian. I haven't, he hasn't actually sent me any like info on the team beyond the spread and a couple of common leads that I'm going to want to use. Uh, but yeah, I mean, obviously being 60 defense with a bold nature, I'm going to assume it's going to take a Behemoth Blade pretty comfortably. It's got Taunt, Foul Play, Snarl, Tailwind. I like the set quite a bit. Uh, the only thing I would really change is I'd probably decrease the bulk just a little bit on the special side if possible uh, to get this thing to hit 112 speed because that allows it to outspeed Calyrex Shadow under Tailwind and then knock it out. But I'd imagine that isn't the most important calc due to the fact that I'm just going to be able to, you know, eat every hit and then foul play it. But also the Zacian calc, maybe if I want to outspeed Zacian, that'd be nice. We're running just standard Calyrex Shadow, Protect, Will-O-Wisp, Astro Barrage, and Psyshock. Uh, we got an Assault Vest Thunderous. I have my own spread that's a little bit bulkier than this, uh, but I like this spread quite a bit. Uh, you know, we got Lash Out, Brick Break, Fly, Wild Charge. This is actually the set that gave me the idea for the Brick Break set that I ran in the, um, in the, I believe it was the X9 tournament or the Trainer Tower tournament or whatever it was. I forget. Victory Road tournament. Uh, so yeah, I ended up getting that idea from this set, even though I adapted it. So that honestly, like Brick Break, we already know is fire. We got Choice Scarf Kyogre. Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, 149 speed, I believe at plus one uh, with the Choice Scarf, allows us to outspeed Calyrex Shadow. We have Seismitoad with a Life Orb. Uh, it's got Swift Swim, Liquidation, Power Whip, Bounce, and Earthquake. I think Bounce is going to be really heat. I haven't seen it yet on Seismitoad. Obviously, we've seen uh, the physical set with Protect instead of Bounce, but that's going to be really cool. And we have a Koba Berry Amoongus with Spore, Foul Play, Pollen Puff, and Rage Powder with Regenerator, obviously and zero speed IVs. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I haven't played a single game with this team yet. I want to go in completely not knowing what's going on, and hopefully we can get some uh, pretty good games. So yeah, let's do it. Also, the name of the team is Mandibuzz Nation. Watch out for the Rillaboom. What is it? What was it called? It was, it was a funny name. Where is it? Team Builder. Mandibuzz Nation. Watch out for the Rilla Nation. Okay. So we're facing a Sun team. Something that'd be kind of interesting is if we had like Rain Dance on Mandibuzz. Uh, but I actually um, quite like the Seismitoad lead. The only thing is I'm going to get intimidated and I have to be careful for the um, Venusaur there, obviously. I think that the Calyrex Shadow lead isn't bad with Will-O-Wisp and such. It's going to be pretty sick. Uh, we also have the option of bringing the Kyogre uh, to get our own weather on the field. And that doesn't seem like a bad idea. I think what I'll do here is I'm going to go Calyrex, Thunderous, Kyogre, and Seismitoad. And I'm going to have to be really careful. Oh, this Brick Break's going to hit so hard. They got no clue. They got absolutely no clue. Let me Will-O-Wisp you right here. And... Actually, is Will-O-Wisp into Kyogre a bad play? I don't think it is. You can also go Seismitoad. I don't think Willowis Seismitoad's a bad play. Hopefully I connect. All right, nice. That thing's burned. Behemoth Blade does nothing, and they also don't go for screens. They just go for the foul play, which, you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of gaming at the moment, so I don't really mind. 
Uh, let's go ahead and just drop a nasty Astral Barrage. We don't need this guy anymore. I'm just going to go for the damage. And considering the Calyrex is going to go down anyways, I'm somewhat tempted just to Earthquake for damage. Yeah, I mean, like, they're not going to protect here, I don't think. Yeah, let's go for the light screen. Um, I get some chip here. The Earthquake, I believe, will KO with the Life Orb since they didn't get any further screens off. And nice. Okay. So here's where the Thunderous is going to come in clutch. Let's go ahead and let's get him in. In case they decide to go Zard. Uh, they do decide to go Zard. I am now going to... I should be able to Brick Break here and just go for the Max Geyser. There's the Reflect. Wildfire goes off. I should have Max Geysered the Grim Snarl in hindsight. Uh, but it shouldn't matter. I did just annihilate their guy. So, you know, if Groudon comes in, I'm just going to doodly do, uh, deal with that. Actually, I'm somewhat tempted to do this. Just Max Geyser the Grim Snarl. Make sure they don't get a light screen off next turn. That'd be pretty cool. Seismic Toad's pretty cool. I mean, like, it, it's a nice Swift Swim user. It doesn't care about. Um, there's no reason to Origin Pulse here. I'm just going to KO anyways. There's no reason to like care about Thunder Wave coming out, so that's really cool. It's got that over Kingdra and stuff, and just being a ground type means it can deal with uh, Zacian really, really well. So I, I think Seismitoad is like a really slept on Pokemon that I have actually faced a few times, and I need to learn its stats, because truth be told, I don't know any of Seismitoad's stats by heart. Let's take a look. 74 sp yeah like how am i supposed to guess these stats 105 95 75 85 75 74 like I, there's no way there's just no way that hp stats kind of sexy though i will i will give it that anything with like over 100 hp is just mm, delicious you know okay so they do have a gastrodon here uh we're gonna be taking to gastro world unless i just annihilate them with the seismitoad I think what I can do pretty safely here is lead off with the Seismitoad Thunderous, bring the Kyogre in the back, and I'm actually going to go Mandibus here. I think the Tailwind could be kind of nasty. Something to note is the high HP stat along with the bulk that Seismitoad just has on the physical side means it actually eats hits from Thunderous pretty well on paper now that I'm looking at this thing. 75, 105, that's not bad. That's not bad. And they actually lead off with the Gastrodon. Which, uh, we'll just deal with that right now. And I'm gonna... I think what I want to do here is... Please don't have max overgrowth. I'm gonna be so upset if you do. I'm gonna get in the Kyogre just to make sure I outspeed this guy and can KO the Gastrodon. But please don't have, uh, max overgrowth. That'd be really poggers if you didn't. Alright, nice. Gastrodon has been removed from play. They do have overgrowth, so I'm pretty happy I got the Kyogre in there just to make sure they didn't annihilate me immediately. Uh, we will get in our Mandibuzz here since it should eat any hit barring a, a Thunderous coming out. And I think it's going to be Groudon for sure. As it is the Groudon, I will go ahead and... I'm going to attempt a Tailwind here and get in my Thundee. So they just Wildfire me. Not Poggers. I am Choice Scarf, though, which is really nice. Uh, so I should be able to secure a KO right here. And if a Incineroar comes out, I should always... I think I double target the Charizard. They haven't gotten any speed boosts off. Am I 149? They ever want to see? It could hypothetically be faster than me. That's the only issue. I have to be really careful about that. Um, Lash Out is technically optimal. <laughs> no, is it? I should just Brick Break. All right, let me Water Spout here. I mean, Lash Out isn't a bad idea. Like, if the if the Grotto, or if the Incineroar comes in, I just deal major damage. And I win. Okay. Yeah, Scarf, Scarf Kyogre for the win. Cali Shadow. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, no. Good game. Good game. Were you Sash? Yeah, it was Sash. Awesome. GG. This team, kind of nasty so far. Kind of nasty. I'm liking it. Hopefully we can keep up the wins here. Okay, so we're facing off against a Sun Room team, but the room is not provided by Calyrex. It is provided by a Dialga, which nothing on this team, except for you, hello, uh, like Seismitoad. 
Hmm. Can I ruin their day by leading off Seismitoad? I think I might be able to. I think I have to bring the Thunderous, to be honest. Um, but I could also go Mandibuzz. I think I'm going to go Seismitoad, Mandibuzz, Kyogre, and Thunderous here. Gives me quite a bit of options. Yeah, no, I like this, actually. Since I'm a physical attacker, this is pretty safe. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Max Quake into the Taunt. Most Dialga aren't running, like, anything to stop Taunt. Like, there's no way it's a Mental Herb. Mental Herb's such a bad item for Dialga. It, it wants offensive power. Like, it wants a Life Orb. It wants a Weakness Policy or, like, a... Even if it doesn't want, like, an offensive item, Shooka Berry's so much better. I also just found out there's no Smash Tournament tonight. Therefore, I can do some homework. Not that I was going to not do homework if there was a Smash Tournament, but I have more time to do the homework that I already have a lot of time to do. So I can get ahead, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So, let's see. They go Groudon. Um, I disagree. I don't know how else to say it. I, uh, I disagree. What do you have to say about that, smart guy? Hmm? It's all fun and games till I get my, my Kyogre on the field. Actually, is it better just to target this? I'm going to target you. You're going to protect. You see this coming. No, you don't? Okay. Uh, not great, but still pretty winnable. Like, honestly, like, what do they do for the double up? There's not much of an option here. Like, I'm not a special attacker. I am a physical attacker. But they might be convinced I'm a physical or I'm a special attacker due to the fact that they snarled me twice and also like they they ate the hit. They don't know that them just I'm just not hitting it hard enough to KO it. <laughs> Alright, they definitely just figured out that I'm a physical attacker too, so good game. Good game to my opponent who already left. Nice. Also, shout out Ken Mako for making the art in the background. He has great art. He's in my Discord. He also has a TikTok. Oh, this is Dragon or Jordan. Dragon or Jordan, such a fire player. Great team builder too. Great streamer. I don't know what to do versus uh <laughs> What do I do versus Executor, dude? I don't know what I do versus this team. He doesn't know it's me. Okay. Um I mean Mandibuzz isn't that bad. But also, like, uh, I mean, do I bring Amoongus? I think Amoongus is probably fine. No, they actually have so much for Amoongus, including Executor. Huh. I think this is going to be the game Mandibuzz really does work, but I have to be really careful about it. Let me think. Uh, I'll go Mandibuzz, Kali, Kyogre. And yeah, we'll go Amoongus. Okay. So, I mean, there's no way Executor eats this hit. I hope. Um, Just going to get Follow Me away, actually, now that I think about it. It might live this hit. It might live this hit. If I taunt here, the Ndidi can't protect the Calyrex on the turn it comes in. So I think I'm going to do that. Actually, technically, taunt on the Executor is optimal. And I'll just go for damage. Okay, so... Uh, we did stop the Ndidi from doing anything useful for the foreseeable future. And I don't expect it to stay in, so I'm actually going to do something a little bit controversial. I'm going to foul play that thing. And I'm going to willow it. Dude, I'm going to... This is going to be the most fire play ever if Calyrex Ice comes in on the weakness policy. Nah, it's not worth it. I'm just going to Astro Barrage. It's, it's never worth it to not just Astro Barrage. But I will foul play here. Sleep Powder, okay. Huh. 
Uh, luckily, I am overcoat on my Mandy, so that's kind of cool. I should probably just snarl now. Snarl on Barrage. They're wasting precious Trick Room turns, which is fine by me. Um, do I need my Calyrex to win? I think Calyrex in the endgame can actually be really nice. So, I'm going to get in my Amoongus here and Snarl again. So they actually have a Citrus Berry and they Brutal Swing. Okay, so that's the way you're planning to activate it. And there's only one turn left of Trick Room. There's the Incineroar. I'm actually going to go ahead and taunt you. And Pollen Puff might be able to KO you. I don't mind losing the Amoongus if I can prevent this like from going up ever again. And it's Citrus Berry, so we know there's no like Mental Herb or anything. Not quite a KO. All right. I should always be able to taunt now, or Snarl. And, uh, yeah, no, let me think. Is Snarl my play? I think Foul Play might do it. I, no, he's already taunted. Um, I can just Foul Play here. And I'm going to get the Regenerator. I'm going to... I don't need the Calyrex Shadow to win. I think Kyogre is a lot better. So I'm going to sack it. And Amoongus is going to be really useful in case they somehow get the Trick Room off. This also prevents like a harvest from activating in case they, you know, somehow get it up again. Okay. You're really going to have to carry here. You're really going to have to carry here, bud. I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp actually. Will-O-Wisp is so much better. <laughs> it's so much better. Uh, I can attempt to taunt. If I get this off, that'll be huge. Wake up. He didn't wake up. He didn't wake up. Okay. I haven't Dynamaxed yet, so now's going to be my time. Max Geyser. And... I'm going to attempt to Spore you, but I'm fairly positive it's not going to work. I could also just Foul Play. Wait, which is stronger? You. I mean, Foul Play from this range should KO it. I'm just going to Foul Play. All right, let's see if they Quake. Quake the Ogre, you know you want to. Oh, you Quake the Amoongus. Uh, probably lose now unless I can crit here. Crit. Oh, yo! <laughs> I feel comfortable saying Pog to Dragon or Jordan because I know he's a good sport. I know he's a good sport. GG. Sorry for crit. But I asked the game politely. Alright. Um, I can just water spot. That'll KO. Obviously. You know, I'm at like full health still. Alright. Let's get... Uh, how much time do I have? It's 19 minutes. Time for like one or more. Or one or two more matches. Uh, let me see. So, just like Tornogre plus Ashen. This is like a standard Tornogre team, but they fit a Raichu on it instead of like a Thunderous or a Regieleki. Which, Raichu used to be standard, so. They actually really hate Seismitoad. Like, they don't have much for that. And Intimidate's kind of annoying, but I can just go Thunderous Seismitoad. Uh, I'm gonna bring my own Kyogre, and I think for my last Mon, uh, Kali Shadow's not bad. Kelly Shadow's not that bad. Okay. So, uh, they ended up leading off with Kyogre, Tornadus. And I think here... How comfortable am I... How comfortable am I with this? I mean, I could just... If I max Airstream into a Thunderous, that could be kind of huge. I could be a little goaded with the sauce. Um, I just really don't want to lose my Seismitoad to a Water Spout here. I think 
it's in my best interest to Dynamax U. And we're going to try this. I'm going to deal with the Tornadus. Because I am a Soul Vested. I should live that. And I got rid of you, um, but I'm still probably slower. <laughs> Actually, no, no, I think I'm, I think I'm faster. I got tail, they got tailwind, but I'm at plus one speed. Now the Zashi not speed is what's concerning me. I genuinely don't know I'm faster. 378, 220, I'm slower. I'm slower than that. Uh, let's try this. How fast are you? 223, you're still slower, dude. How are you only at 223 speed at 1.5? How are you gonna do this to me right now? Okay, I probably lose this one. Yep. Yeah, I I I I messed that one up bad. I uh in this instance I was not go to with the sauce. Let's see if they just, you know, somehow not KO my Calyrex or my Kyogre and I managed to get like a crit on both of these. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be uh that'd be pretty cool. I mean if they behemoth played my Calyrex, I'd just lose. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on. Check this out. Yo. Yo, crit, another one, right here, crit, boom, do it again, protect on the max lightning on my Kyogre, please, please, por favor, no, good game, actually, mm, you know what, check this out, crit the ogre, no, okay, GG, I didn't, I didn't even hit anything that turn, <laughs> I didn't even hit anything that turn, I just missed both of them, all right, we'll do one more, one more game. But yeah, I think this team's super good. This is a super good team. They're just a few optimizations I'd make. And wow, that is just like the actual Seismitoad counter. Do you want to see me invalidate it? I'm going to lead off Seismitoad. And I'm going to lead off... Uh, uh, We'll go Seismitoad, Thunderous. I'm going to bring the Kyogre in the back. And is Mandibuzz good in this game? I think Mandibuzz is actually pretty good in this game. What I want to do is ruin their day by have them lead off with like an Assault Vested uh Verizion and then I'm just like max airstream and it's gone that's that's my goal here I want to click the max airstream Blastoise okay so I don't get to click max airstream um on the bright side can I stop this Blastoise from like attacking at all this turn probably not I think I want to Dynamax my Thunderous here to be honest Kind of sucks that I'm definitely slower than both of these, or definitely slower than the Eveltal, unless it's like really, really bulky. I should be slower, so I'm gonna try this. Um, they're gonna Dynamax that thing. They don't. Okay. Uh, I think I just got rid of it. Connect. Power Whip. Okay, cool. Like, the biggest threat to my team is just being annihilated. You know, I don't I don't really see what else is super, super threatening. There's the Verizion. Like, what do you, what do you think is going to happen here? Um, I'm going to be faster than you. Yo, I'm actually going to get in my Mandibuzz here. I don't need to keep the, the Seismitoad in just yet. And I'm going to Airstream. And they, I think they're just going to want to like Dynamax and go for the KO on the Seismitoad. What if they're coaching? They doubled the Seismitoad. Oh, no, they didn't. Okay. Well, um, I get that on the way down. And if it's Focus Sash, my Snarl should do it. What if I actually match their Tailwind here? That wouldn't be a bad idea, considering. They can't stop this unless they're Tawny Veltal. But yeah, uh, they basically forfeited the Verizion. Oh, you're kidding me. Don't be Sash. Okay, that's okay, I guess. And I get the Tailwind off. So I can just start clicking Snarl and stuff, and it's going to be all good. Uh, Tailwind tells me it's probably not weakness policy. Let's go ahead and... Can I taunt you? Am I faster? Let me think. I'm at 1.5 times speed... And 
Yeah, I should be able to taunt this thing to prevent that. And I'm just going to focus you down because they can't reset the sun after this. All right, Mandibuzz, do the thing. Okay, cool. We prevented that. I get in my Kyogre and I should just win by clicking Foul Play and Water Spout. Actually, Origin Pulse is technically better because I'm just going to get Sucker Punched. Yeah, Water Spout wouldn't KO after a Sucker Punch, which is probably what they're banking on. And looks like I got it right. Nice. They didn't even Dynamax this game. Like, why wouldn't you Dynamax the ground on there? Anyways, yeah. Uh, I, this team did pretty good. I'm, I'm like notoriously bad with teams that I haven't built. And it's not, I always have to explain this. It's not that I think that my teams are better than other people, because they're not. My teams are just specifically built for me to play them. Like, I play in a way where my teams and my gameplay are so integrated that I find it hard to use teams that I personally didn't build. But this team is very intuitive. The only thing I would tweak is like the Mandibuzz speed so it can outspeed Calyrex or, um, or Zacian because it wouldn't be that much of an investment. Uh, and I also have, I think, a slightly better Thunderous spread um, that's bulkier. It doesn't hit as hard, but it's a lot bulkier. But yeah, uh, this has been a really fun team. I really appreciate you for sending me the team. If you guys have teams you want me to use in a shutdown live, you know, drop them in the Discord. I'm more than open to trying them out in a video if I think they're interesting. So yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.